Hi guys, it's Chicka Cola or Matt. It's been a while. Today we're going to be eating some hot sauce. So this is ghost pepper hot sauce or Audrey B. Chocola ghost pepper rebel mental hot sauce from Florida, made in the USA. Okay, I'll read the little note on the side to describe it. This Audrey B. Rebel hot sauce is made with ghost pepper and is the hottest natural known pepper in the world. We have packed this into the bottle and added a little habanero for even more heat. Use with caution, a few drops will deliver a deliciously sweet and tangy burst of heat to grilled meats, sauces, stews, dips, and drinks. Be a rebel. And then it's got everything in French. And then it shows here on the thing how hot this is. So this one is about midway hot. I couldn't find the scorpion or the reaper. So I'm going to see how hot this one actually is. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know I've eaten really extremely spicy foods that have not affected me that you were supposed to. But it does say it contains 1 million Scoville pepper extract. So they added a million pepper extract in that. I guess the other things, so it's, it's got applesauce, you know, apple cider, it's got the ghost pepper, red habanero pepper, it's a bunch of fillers, but it seems like they just added some extract to it. And I got chicken fingers, the good ones, $10 to go down with this. So again, if you know my videos from the past, chicken, so let's see what we can do with this. Be really interesting to see if this is hot and how spicy it is. If it is really spicy, maybe I'll try the Reaper 51, but couldn't find it where I bought this. That one on the inside, it shows a bunch of rebel. It says rebel all around the inside there. Psst. If it's too hot, add a teaspoon of sugar will help. Oh, they gave you a little hint there. If it's too hot, add some sugar. So here's the bottle. It looks like Hot sauce, Tabasco sauce. It doesn't turn too well. It's got some perforated plastic there. We'll rip that off. The chicken nuggies are, fingers are trying to run away there. There we go. Oh. For smell, it doesn't really smell. Like anything other than maybe like Tabasco sauce. Here, we'll shake it up just in case it's settled. We'll pour some into our handy dandy lid. Here we pour some in there. It looks like a chunky Tabasco sauce. We'll get a chicken finger, get a whole bunch of sauce on there. Hmm. I was kind of expecting more than that. Maybe like a Room to there, though. Mid, mid to high, maybe spiciness, but not crazy spicy. Oh, two more. Don't really want to put the whole thing in there. If you know my videos from far, we'll give camera lady, cameraman some. But it's not. It's not unbearable. Honestly, it tastes just similar to like a Tabasco sauce. And it's not really spicy. Maybe for some people this might be really spicy, but my nose isn't even running. 
my tongue. It's got some tingle into it, but not that much. So for 1 million Scoville unit pepper extract, kind of sad. Before when I eat uh, hot ramen or spicy ramen from like Korea or Japan or even like spicy Canadian or USA ramen, my nose would like run. This isn't even making my nose run. My tongue got that little spicy burn, but it's not in my like the back, my nasal cavity and it's not in my throat. Just on my tongue. So, would I buy this again? Eh, probably not. Will I try the hottest one there is? Half? Maybe. I'll try it in the future and see if it's really hot or it's just like this. But, hope you guys liked the video. And if you've tried this spice this sauce before, give me a comment down below and see what you thought about it. And have you ever tried the hottest one? Or even the coolest one? And what did you think of it? Thank you guys for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. Check the call out. Hopefully I'll film a video sooner than the last one.